Hi all, it's Gav here from dartscommunity.com. I'm doing this because I've been thrown a few hours last night because the Grand Slam of darts has been on. Every time I like playing darts anyway, but when it's on, I want to play darts even more. I get the odd one for in hundreds, not at a huge amount of one eights, but I love it. My passion for darts is huge. So thanks for tuning in for this. All I wanted to do with this video is go through my predictions for a court final of the Grand Slam of darts. So far, it's been excellent. I've really enjoyed it. Um, looking at the lineup for the quarterfinals, does it surprise me? Not really. The only person I would say that I probably wouldn't expect it to be there is Glenn Durant from the BDO. I think he's done fantastic to get to this stage and he is buzzing. Zzz. He is buzzing because of the crowds, because of the format, because of the exposure he's getting. It's been huge. I think it's great for Glenn Durrant. I don't know if you've seen my other video. I've got one going at the moment. Is Do you think he's good enough to be on the PDC? Um, I uploaded that one last night. So have a look at that and get your comments in there and get involved. So I just want to run through my predictions for the quarterfinal. For those of you that see my videos at the start of the Grand Slam, one of the days was really good on day one. I got pretty much most of them right. Even got about four correct scores. Whereas day two, I got some some badly wrong. So it's all part of the fun. Um, let's see how I go with these ones and see if you guys disagree with me or whether you think I am way out. <laughs> so to start off with tonight, Friday night this is, we have got Glenn Durrant facing Peter Wright. For me, as you can see at the bottom here, it's the standout match for me of the round. Yes, I know a lot of you are probably going to say it's going to be Van Gerwen and Cross, but they've met quite a few times recently, been really good matches. I think that um, that is going to be obviously an amazing one, but because of the format, the BDO, all that's going on at the moment between um, Durren and Peter Wright in, in the two organisations, I think it's going to be a really good one. I do, however, think that I'm going to have to stick with Snape right here, and I think that he will win this one 16-12. I think that does has done really well, but I think, unfortunately for him, it's going to be the end of the road, but it's going to be a really, really good match. Um, we then go into the gentleman, Sosolovic, who's facing Gary Anderson. Mensa is obviously really, really good. He has beat Anderson recently, but I think Anderson at the moment is on, on fire. He's got his form back. He's, he's way back into the swing of things now, and his sheer score and power will... Be enough to get through Mencia Sulevich. Although, as we all know, Sulevich takes a lot of three figure checkouts out. But if I was going to put my money on it, I would put it on Anderson to win, and I think it'll be 16 11. Then we go to Phil Taylor versus Daryl Gurney. Daryl Gurney for me is one of the informed players of the year. I think he's I think he's got everything right. I think he's <sighs> I know we've had a lot of bit of controversial stuff going on with, with different things in the final. I know these different things, I don't want to cover that too much in this video, but what I do want to say is I think that Taylor is going to win this one. Is retiring. He wants to prove a point. This, and obviously the world's coming up, he, he, he's, I think he's going to go out on a high. I think that is what is going to happen. I might be wrong, but it would not surprise me if Taylor do not go and win one of these last two tournaments. So I'm going for an awesome match here, but I think that Taylor is going to come through this one 16-14. Then we have got MVG against Rob Cross. They've met three times in the last couple of weeks. Every time MVG coming out on top, although I think he has been very lucky. If I was in my Gara Casino on some of these, because his luck's in, he shouldn't have beat um, Cross in the group stages there as he did. Cross had him sewn up, but he got through it. He seems to have the luck. And it's one of those ones as, have you got the bottle to do it? Have you got the bottle? When most people fight Van Gogh, not fight him, when they play Van Gogh, they've not got the bottle to get to, to, to beat him. It, it was like that for Taylor for years. People are starting to find a way. Um, I, over the longer format, um, I think that Van Gerwen will come through with 6 foot 16, 13. Had it not been a longer format, I think that Cross possibly would have beat MVG. So, as I said at the start, my standout match is Durant versus Wright. These are my predictions. Tell me what yours are, who you think is going to go through, what your standout game is and everything. But don't forget to give this video a great big thumbs up because I'm trying to grow this channel. I've got so much in store you would not believe. 
so give it a subscribe, a share, a like, leave comments below, I'll always get back to you, I'll retweet them, I'll put them on Facebook, and until next, well that's pretty much it, they're my predictions, look forward to chatting to you all soon, and I'll catch you next time, bye!